Jesus heals a man with leprosy. While Jesus was in one of the towns, a man came along who was covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he fell with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you're willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately, the leprosy left him. Then Jesus ordered him, don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Yet the news about him spread all the more so that crowds of people came to hear him and to be healed of their illnesses. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. Paula is someone I've got to know over the past wee while at St George's Tron. Uh, she's one of the regulars in the cafe and um, around about Christmas time I was, uh, I was painting a friend of hers and, and she said to me at, at, at that point, well you could, you could paint me. Um, and it's, it's always nice when someone offers to be in one of the paintings and um, sometimes it takes a wee while to, um, to figure out what would be the best fit with, with which story. Um, then, in, then in January uh, I saw her again and she came in and she had a black eye and she said you could paint me like this I could maybe I could be someone that Jesus was about to heal so that's what we did I don't know anything about terrible poverty as much. I'm 51 now. I was born in 1967 when my parents moved to Glasgow down to a cottage bungalow, but I've never ever fitted in, never ever thought I'd fitted in with both till my mum mum told me when I was 12 that terrible poverty. So you didn't know till you were 12? Till I was 12, no. I didn't know my mum told me. My so mum sent me to mainline school, a normal school. Instead of a special school, maybe if I was at a special school I would have got a wee bit of help, but I wouldn't have realised, I wouldn't have had to learn to hide a disability. I would probably think that other people were better than me to look for confidence off the other people rather than look for it within myself. But something amazing happened when I was 12. I went to the church, I went to the Boiler in church, and something amazing happened. I felt angry and I was hitting younger children, younger than myself because they're young ones. Too young to understand you would say, why do you walk? Why do you talk funny? And then you say, I can't. I couldn't understand why they were doing that. And I went down my hands and knees and took the Lord Jesus into my heart. And I got baptised in the Brethren in church. And since that, there was a peace came over me. I never had anybody. I was seen for forgiveness and see if she could help somebody rather than hinder them. And I've had a few incidents in my life which have been landed in things with alcohol and different stuff and trying to hide for me. I'm going in the way for the Lord and if I just hand everything over to him, I'm fine. I'm all right. I feel peace. Hatred is not an anger. Hatred and anger and feeling insecure and swearing and drinking, that's not from the Lord. But I'm actually damaging folk without knowing I'm bad being selfish. Because sometimes when you give folk over money and you buy them food and you do this and you do that, you're actually being selfish because you're giving somebody something that they've never had before. So if you all of a sudden say, I'm not giving you, they're going to get angry and say, but you can afford to give me it. You gave me it last time and they're going to get angry. They're going to get bitter. Who are they going to lash out on? You, the person that gave them in the first place. And I can't understand why folk do that, but I'm learning to understand it because I'm giving them it. And then all of a sudden I can't afford it. So they can't do it and they get angry because they need it. Because if I'm giving them food, they're saving money to go and do whatever they like doing. They can't do that because they've got to buy themselves food. See, it's her fault. Well, it's, it's a vicious circle. And you've got to watch if you don't look in. If you look in and look after yourself, people are going to say, how do you do that? What do you do? And follow your example. If I choose to spend a lot of money on people like buying them alcohol and they decide to do wrong to me. I've actually bought my unhappiness. 
I'm not selfish if I choose to look after myself because I've got to look after myself before I can look after other people. I try and look after myself, make sure I'm healthy and then I can give a wee bit out to people. Because I've seen, pe I've seen me going into folks' houses and doing the housework, polishing the sideboards. And they said, oh, thanks, Paul, I love you, Paul, I don't know what we do without you. And I'm going back to my house, but this is a pile of <laughs> And, well, that's not very good when I've got grandchildren come along. Because what do children do when dishes are piled up or toys are piled up? Pull the bottom, don't they? <laughs> Pull the ones at the bottom. And they just go, whew. So you right. end up with a bigger mess than you had in the first place. So I'm learning, it's a learning process, one day at a time, each, each day is so learning and I'm so, so I hand over to God to build back, things back up. People say, oh Paul, you're going to explode with food, because when I was younger I never ate. But now I've been diagnosed with diabetes, I'm cake, cake daft, and you've got to protect me from myself. It's easy to eat sweets and chocolates and different stuff, but it's no easy to get your sugar levels back down with the high, which I'm discovering. And that can affect your eyesight as well. But what happens is, when I look, I can see so far in front of me, and I can see, when I look down at my feet, it's bloody, about two inches bloody. But um, it's difficult because I've got white sick. If I don't use it, and I'll come across a baby on it's badly, I do trip, and I will trip over things. And, um, I laugh and giggle and folk just think, oh, she's just acting the fool and different stuff. Folk genuinely don't, don't know there's anything wrong with me. Yeah, I wouldn't have known either. So that's how they've introduced me to places where I can get food. I don't need to spend a lot of money, I just need to give a donation or whatever I can afford yeah, into yeah. the place, which has helped tremendous, tremendously, it's helped me. When the children have left, they've been all completely on mourning. The Lord has actually confused Jesus as presence and guiding me to do so. I know it's just not under other people's influences. It's actually the Lord inside my heart that's working through me because I had no heating. I don't cook. I loved baking cake and I don't cook up. I don't heat, no telly, no music, nothing. And yet I was I felt a contentment and a peace inside me. I have got to accept myself and not be selfish and take care of somebody else before myself because that's not the way I'm supposed to live my life. So if I'd listened, listened to my own instincts, I wouldn't be in a, in a situation that I'm in just now. I wouldn't be all messed up. I believe now, without being boasting or boastful, that I've got a few talents. I can make up poetry, I can, I can paint, I reach for the stars. Reach for the moon if you miss your land amongst the stars. So I've got inside me, something inside so strong. Let God, hand it over to God. But I'm learning, I believe that I've learned so much. Just to say to, my, to say to myself for what I am, how to search, who I am. What do I want to be? Everybody wants to be someone. We all want to be loved, we want to be supported, we want help, we want good things. So all good things. Open yourself to God's people. Open yourself to the love of God because even if God didn't exist, if Jesus did, Jesus died for us, if he didn't die, if he didn't go to again, even the Bible is the best way to live because it's good things in it. It's the best way to bring up your children, it's the best way to run your house by, it's the best way to. It's everything you need inside that book. All your answers to your worldly problems, the worldly things that. People say, don't exist, you're a liar, but the minute you walk out of your house, you could be a liar the minute you do things, you're a liar. You don't know what's the truth and what's not the truth. The truth is what you will accept it to be within your heart.